Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and what I'd like to do is to talk about perspective in this drawing. So earlier in the playlist um, with these YouTube videos, kind of talked about how you can choose a one point perspective layout. And if you have like this vanishing point and a horizon line, you can pretty much set up your scene in a way. So as objects get closer to the vanishing point, they should look smaller as objects get farther away from the vanishing point then they're gonna you know appear to be larger and you can devote more space to that um, you know with how you choose to compose your drawings so these concepts work exactly the same for when you decide to do two perspective points okay so let's kind of let's start another drawing right now remember vanishing points are gonna have grid lines that terminate towards them so you can kind of set up a ground plane with lines that vanish at this vanishing point but then you do that again over here and what you've got is you've got a grid that's on the ground also which is just like the one we originally saw here now let's just kind of use that to draw a box before we, we before we draw something a little bit more complex so notice if we do something like this where we get this one edge and then we try to get it to connect towards that vanishing point. This edge right here is going to be a little bit longer than this edge. And the same goes with pointing these two lines to this vanishing point. This edge right here is going to be longer than this one. Okay? Extend some lines up and down. Again, this one needs to be longer. This one needs to be shorter. So that way it can reach towards wherever that vanishing point is. The same is going to go here. If we go and extend a straight line and then we just go straight up and down, we could see that, oh, okay, sure. Um, this one's going to be longer. This one's going to be shorter. By the way, if you hold shift, you can draw any kind of a straight line that you want. Okay. So now that we kind of see that happening, let's do the exact same thing. Let's put one. Um, let's go put a grid that's going to be above the horizon line. Okay, and you can choose completely different vanishing points if you like. Um, in fact, yeah, let me just set up a vanishing point there just to illustrate that you can do it. Okay, so now what I'll do is let's go and take this and make a corner. We're going to point those edges again towards the vanishing point and then we'll make a parallel line. Let's do the same over here. These are going to point to that vanishing point and then of course you just kind of you do this and you hold shift and then of course you erase the stuff you don't want and magically what happens is is that you've got this situation where uh, closer to the vanishing point is smaller farther away is larger and so on and so forth okay the last way to do this is to have your object cross the horizon line so we can kind of see you know here's our horizon line let's put our mountains and stuff right there the Sun right there so that's really what we're trying to do. Okay, so now that that's all set up, we're gonna be able to see two sides. We're not gonna be able to see the underside, or we're not gonna be able to see the top side, but hopefully this makes sense. If this object is below the horizon line, so if you like look down at your feet, you can notice that you can see the top of your shoes. If you look up at the sky, you can see the bottom part of the clouds because the sky is above this horizon line. If you go down to the street and you kind of look down at the buildings, you know, look at the buildings up and down your block, you probably will not see the tops or the bottoms like underneath because they're on the same level as you, which is the horizon line. So just be aware of that. Okay. So um, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to take this concept and we're going to apply it to making some sketches. We'll probably draw a car and, you know, maybe a human or something. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.